Hey, this is James Diamond with Glock CNC, and we have some exciting news. We have new motors and controllers. So these are quite a bit different than our previous generation. Our previous generation, they were motors that were getting, they were, they were off the shelf motors, and then what we would do is we'd have to retrofit them. And we were having problem, problems with the reliability and problems with quality control. Like 30% of them were coming in with issues and we didn't even want to bother retrofitting them. Then kind of done on us, hey, let's you know just make the investment and have the motors and the motor drivers just custom made for application. And it's turned out really well to the point now we're actually kind of having a hard time keeping these in stock. So let's start out with the motor. The motor comes either in the 1200 watt, which you see right here, or a 750 watt model, which is just like slightly shorter than this model right here. Now they weigh about the same as what your stock take or Sureline motor is going to weigh. So don't worry about that. Now another change is the mounting brackets actually are thicker than our previous generation. And they have more holes in here, which allows you to mount this further up and down on our heavy duty headstocks. These are the holes right here for the Sureline headstock. Now, if you have a TIG, you'll still use these holes. We'll drill them out just a little bit larger. And then you'll use this little T-slot adapter thing here. We actually use two of them. And they will go in right here, kind of where your motor would normally mount up to the TIG. Now we also have in here a tensioning uh, screw. Now we don't, most people don't use it, so we just don't give you the screw, but if you want it, you can get a screw in it and put it in here and it'll push against this portion of the bracket to tension the belt. Now, when it comes to the belt, this is the pulley that we offer. Now this will fit uh, the Sureline cogged belt. So it's two steps, two step pulley. And we also offer the uh, corresponding uh, similar version to this that we bore for the shaft on the TIG that'll fit that and it'll fit over that bolt right there, that jam that I should say. All right, so let's move on. We have the controllers. This is the 750 watt controller. This is the uh, 1200 watt controller, which is actually good to 1500 watts, should you need to know that. They are both uh, fan cooled. There's a fan here, there's a fan on the side of that one. And these have a tremendous amount of options, user options, programmable options that you can do via the input buttons here. Now the manuals for this, if you don't see a manual in your package, that's because they will be in a form of a PDF and you can get them on our website, the page that you buy from on GlockCNC.com into the store. If you go into the store, you go to the different motors, you will see at the bottom of the page the download for the manual on it. Now, uh, don't let the manual confuse you too much. The operation of this is incredibly simple. Now, if you bought it with our optional control box here, it's real simple. This is direction, in other words, forward and reverse. This is engage, this is a speed control, and the switch over there that my finger just can't reach is the brake button, okay? That is an optional piece that you can get right there, or you can just put a standard potentiometer like a 10K pot um, on here, and you can control it as well. Now, the beautiful part about these two is these are directly CNC controllable through zero to 10 volt or pulse width modulation. So, you know, that's up to you how you wanna control it. So this is compatible with, well, virtually every CNC breakout board that can do it. Well, this will work for it. There you have it. There is the latest and greatest. These are made to run 24 seven. It's a brushless system. And if we have them in stock, when you contact us about them, you might want to kind of get on that because for some reason we keep selling out of these things and people really have been gobbling these up. They really seem to love them. All right, there you have it. Oh, uh, one other thing before I let you go. The uh, RPM on this is anywhere between the, this 1200 watt one goes, I believe to 5,600 RPM. The 750 watt model goes to 5,400 RPM. So there you have it.